This is Shallow Bay where I camped last night. Uh, it's got a pretty nice looking beach. Don't know, don't know how warm the water would be, but beach is quite nice. Um, cloudy again today. I think tomorrow is also sunny and cloudy. And then after that, it should be a few days of sun. So I think when I come back through Ghost Moorin Park, it'll be uh, sunny. So that'll be nice. This is an interesting uh, little rest stop along the highway. It's just north of Grand Morris National Park and it's the Arches Provincial Park. And it's a series of uh, three arches in, in a rock formation that used to be a mountain that was eroded by a glacier and then the ocean uh, to make these arch, arched bridges. So it's kind of cool. Not much here other than uh, to stop for some photos and maybe a picnic. There's uh, nothing really else in the park. Though there were, I was surprised because I pulled into the parking lot and there was a coach bus that was just leaving. So, uh, but I mean, it's really close to the park. So it's, that's probably why most people stop. I think it's going to be really windy, but uh, I think I've entered the subarctic. Uh, this landscape is just so flat, well not flat, but so barren, and uh, it is really windy. But I'm at uh, Port Oshwat National Historic Site, and you, I've, I've really figured out that, uh, I've come to realize that you can't I'm gonna try this and if the wind's too much, I'm sorry, I'll be doing it. Uh, but I've come to realize that you can't judge the national historic sites and parks by their names because Port au Choix, I thought it was like French for like Port of Choice or something. And I thought it'd be a European, uh, European history site, like an old fishing village or something, or one of the first uh, settlements. But it's actually about indigenous people. Um, they don't have a lot, and I think they could do this, they could use some more research, but they have about, they have history for about 3,000 years back of the First Nations that used to live here um, incidentally, are the ancestors of the Beothunk that I saw on the other side of the province a couple days ago. Um, and so there used to be some village here and there's a bunch of burial sites here. And so I was, I was quite surprised that the National Historic Site here, and it's almost like a park because it's got quite a bit of land and, and hiking trails. Um, it's about First Nations and not Europeans, and I find that really cool. 
This meadow is the site of where the Paleo Eskimo village used to be. There's apparently about 50 houses, or yeah, 50 houses that used to be here um, that were identified by as shallow depressions in the ground. I found caribou tracks in the sand, but no caribou. This is uh, one of the sculptures in the park uh, that referenced the indigenous history. And this one's about the seal hunt. Uh, it's really cool. Hard to see with the clouds behind it. These are the faraway places and the, that I like to hike. These are the faraway places I like to be and I like to hike. Such an unexpected surprise, and I love it. I'm really glad I stopped here. Because I, I had no idea that this was uh, here, and it's, it's a beautiful place. I've seen uh, caribou scat everywhere, so evidently the, the caribou come down here. Oh, look at that.
in the stone path. This is another indigenous marker in the landscape. It's quite nice, I like it. I'm uh, making some instant noodles for lunch beside the road. Um, after the hike, I took a look at the ferry schedules to Labrador and the location of the other historic site I wanted to go to was like two and a half hours away. So I'd get there after it closes, uh, like get there at like six. So that'd be after it's closed. So I'm just kind of taking it a bit slower this way, uh, slower now, doing a bit of a detour. It'll be a bit of a longer route up the, the North Peninsula of Newfoundland, but I'll see a little hike, do a little hike and a trail to apparently the only place in the world where salmon have to go through an underground tunnel to their spawning grounds. So that's the plan after lunch. Oh, this is it. Oh, you can see fish. Right, right there. There's four fish. Huh, did not expect to see fish. I don't know what kind of, I don't know if they're salmon or trout though. Um, there's a sign beside here too that says this is the most abundant place for moose. An average of three per kilometer. So that's pretty cool too. But that's the that's the mouth of the where they go in. And then above is just forest. And I think the path leads to the other side. So we'll go check that out in a sec. And that's the other end under that rock shelf. That's pretty cool. Looks like there's another underground cave there. Another underground passageway. That's cool. It's actually kind of cold. It's probably 13 degrees minus wind chill. I am effectively at the northern tip of Newfoundland. Uh, I don't think geographically the, the, the tip tip, but uh, pretty, pretty damn close. And uh, it's pretty cool. This is uh, really rugged and beautiful, but it's so cold. My hands are like, my hands are really cold. I don't know if I, how I'm gonna survive on uh, Labrador. Really 
glad though that I uh, that I made it here. Uh, today is really cold. Uh, don't think it's above 10 degrees and then there's wind. Uh, last night was kind of cold too. Um, yeah, it's just cold. <laughs> the trail goes to the top of that mountain. I'm gonna try and get to it, but it's cold. That was cool. I practically ran up to get warm and then now I'm gonna jog back down to stay warm. Uh, sun's come out, so it's warmer, but I'm at Parks Canada Lanso Meadow, which is the Viking site. I'm in the land of the Vikings. Uh, and I checked the weather and it's only 11 degrees. <laughs> This is the meeting of two world sculptures, which signifies the Norsemen from Europe meeting the First Nations Aboriginals in Canada, or what was Canada before. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> They've got uh, four buildings here. It's kind of interesting, like Louisbourg, that I think most parks, Canada, re re recreated sites need a blacksmith. <laughs> and so uh, this is uh, the site's blacksmith. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright, just got some food at St. Anthony's, uh, which is the largest town at the north end of the peninsula. And I'm just stopping for a few photos before I head to the ferry for Labrador. Thanks for watching.